The sort of advice you're, you're offering players is, is about the confidence, about believing themselves and, and believing themselves and their ability to be at this level. And the, the challenge for us is having you know, one or two familiar uh, combinations and, uh, and partnerships and then uh, bringing things together as quickly as we possibly can and gelling you know, a squad of players that are often playing for the first time together and trying to get up to speed as quickly as we possibly can. But the, the message to the players is you know, it's about belief, it's about confidence and, and it's about um, improving from you know, training to training and, and game to game. I think when you're, you're managing the players, I mean, that's, that's the biggest challenge in terms of how we do get things right and in terms of the, the quantity of training. You know, sometimes the message to the, to the other coaches is, look, don't overcoach, don't give them too much information and don't overload them as well. And talking to uh, the conditioners, uh, the medics, uh, looking at uh, volume and, and load and trying not to take too much of the sting out of the, of the players' legs. And, that, and you know, our whole focus at the moment is building to, to the test series. And sometimes you do, you know you are doing a little bit uh, more behind the scenes. You are doing extra in trainings and you, and you aren't going to have the players quite as fresh as they might be at the start of the tour, but it's about then being able to manage a little bit later on and pull back on things so that we do freshen things up and, and the whole thing is about priming the players to be um, having done enough in terms of preparation but to be in the right shape physically for you know, particularly that first test. Yeah what you know, players do, I mean some of them uh, on their days off they might go and, um, to a movie uh, just to get away from things, get out of the hotel and go and have a, have a cup of coffee. One or two players might play around the golf and, and carts as well. So, you know, it's important that they do get away from the intensity of, of the tour and, and then a day off um, look to do some things. At the moment, we've been pretty, pretty full on in terms of we've been training every day and the day off and the recovery day has been a travel day as well. So, and we knew that sort of planning the start of the tour that there, were, there wasn't going to be too much time off in terms of, um, you know, particularly early on. And, uh, you know, so it's about that managing the players to do uh, just get away from it and get out, out of the hotel and, and some of them look to do that. We'll be doing things uh, a little bit later on the next week or so, having what we call mini groups, so players and coaches going out in groups of sort of six to ten together and going to a, a different restaurant just to get away from the hotel food and to, to make sure they will mix and socialise and you know have a bit of a laugh because you know, that's the important thing. We've got to enjoy what we're doing and yeah, we know we're under, under a bit of pressure and there's a lot of scrutiny but the, the thing about it, it's a game, it's a, it's a sport. Yes, we've got to prepare properly, we've got to put the work and effort into it, but we've still got to enjoy what we're doing as well. Not a lot at the moment. Uh, in terms of myself unwinding is, um, yeah, again, you've just, uh, you know, you're going to spend a bit of time with the other coaches and have a, have a bit of a coffee. Um, for me, at the moment, is sort of catching up with some family and, and friends as well and just, again, getting out of the hotel. Have, grabbing a cup of coffee and, uh, and just getting away from it for a, for a couple of hours. Um, otherwise you can be consumed by it. I mean, things, are, things come around so quickly in terms of the two games a week and then trying to move um, a, a big group of uh, players and management and all the kit and stuff from, from one place to the other. So yes, yeah, so you've got to make sure that you do, um, like you're working long hours, of the, the coach is up early in the morning and finishing late at night, but then trying to get that balance between um, having, a, having a coffee together, maybe just talking about what's happened and the events of the day to, to try and get away from you know, what we've been doing as a, as a coaching group. Yeah, I, mean, I, th I think, it, I think the, the scrutiny of the pressure is understanding that preparing for it before you start and if you understand what's coming and um, you know, looking at, at past tours and previous tours, there's, there's been a lot of scrutiny and pressure on the coaches. I mean, there's so many people out there writing from different angles and, and preparing for it. That, that, that's, that's the best thing and, and understanding that. Um, and for myself, um, you know, I, I kind of thrive on that sort of stuff in terms of um, a lot of the talk or the challenge being aimed at me. And, you know, obviously people are going from, like I said, from different angles and sometimes taking that pressure individually away from the team or from the players is is um, have a positive impact on, on the team and on the players because, you know, these are young men and, and sometimes, you know, they've been under scrutiny and, and people criticising them can, you know, can have a negative effect and 
for a lot of them, they wouldn't have experienced this type of uh, scrutiny from you know, such a vast amount of people writing from about different things and um, you know, positives, negatives being, being critical. And uh, so being able to, like I said, be prepared for that. Um, and for some, sometimes the messages, you know, just create a little bubble for yourself and, and, um, and not worry about the external stuff because we can control what we can, can control uh, in, our, in our own environment and, and not let uh, negativity from the outside have an impact on us. Yeah, I mean, the training is the most important thing is that, you know, we're working on combinations and working on uh, the players becoming familiar with each other and the calls and, and moves. And the hardest thing at the moment is that you're holding things back. It's like a game of chess that you're showing certain things on on the field and um, because you're preparing for a couple of weeks' time in, in the first test and, and not not wanting to show everything and or or showing something that we, we may look like we're doing at the moment, but we might do something you know, completely different in the test. So you know, that, that's the hard thing. Um, look, there's still things for us to get better at, and it's important that we you know, use training to make sure that our lines are right, the intensity is right. Um, we've got a few things to, that we still want to improve on from after the first couple of games to, to continue to, to be sharper. And it was, was pleasing you know, in the last couple of sessions we've We've decided to look sharper. That the combinations are for those players that have been working together for a bit longer are starting to show. And and the challenge for us and the the, the thing was that we always said that everyone was going to get a start in the first three games. And and we, I always felt that that was important from a squad point of view in terms of the harmony and players thinking, okay, I've had a, had a start, I've, I've had a chance. And then for us now to start thinking um, after the game against the Crusaders, the the Marys game is going to be important, and then the following week we've got the first test, and it's going to come around pretty quickly. and And we need we need to, as as coaches and and as a management, start thinking about you know the potential combinations over the next few games, and in terms of what we're looking at, um, you know, for a, a potential starting fifteen for that first test. No, the pressure's always the same. I mean. Um, particularly, on, I think on the, on the head coach, and I, I said that in 2013, that the, the experience of 2013, that as players you can kind of come on a Lions tour and, and almost be uh, not have that individual pressure that, that they sometimes get back in the UK at club or international level because there is, you know, so much focus on, on the on the coaches and, and the playing and the, and the playing style and and the performance. You know, you win and um, and, and, and you know you, you get credit. You, the team performs poorly, and you lose. And a lot of a lot of that criticism is heaped on, you know, on the coaches. And, and having having experienced that in the past, like I said, and being prepared for it, it does it makes it a lot easier in terms of coping with with the pressure or, or the criticism or or, or um, making sure that it doesn't sort of go on to the players. You know, the players aren't affected in the in the prepared as they best as they possibly can. I spoke to the players as well about um, you know, hand, handling that pressure, hand, handling the expectation, because I've all been in situations before in the past and a lot of these players have been uh, in teams or played in games where they've been written off and, and they've performed and produced um, you know, when there hasn't been that sort of expectation on them. And, and the best players in the world, they, they rise to those challenges. That's, that's what drives them, that's what makes them the best players because they're able to, to respond to you know, the unexpected or respond to when people are writing them off and so that's you know, what we've been talking about as a squad and players and, and I've seen a number of these players in the past and, and teams that they've played for whether it's been at club level or international respond to um, the the challenges that have been placed on them so and that's what we're looking for them to do over the next few games to respond to the challenges that we need to, to rise to, to to continue to keep improving as, as a squad and team and like I said it's all about building for that first test.